Hi there, good afternoon and good day everybody during this shutdown time. One of the most crucial things that are happening now within our industry and something that's unprecedented, never happened or not in our lifetimes or maybe even our grandparents' lifetimes that we've known um, that essential services would be the only available shops at, at, during this time. So we as hair and beauty professionals um, are desperately looking for ways around this. And in a way, as bad as it is, it's really getting us to think outside the box. And I know a lot of you have been doing that already. So I just want to go through the very, very quickly here what this presentation will uh, be about. There'll be an introduction quickly. And then information gathering from your clients. What do you think is that they're going to want from you? What are some ideas to sell? how to say those things when you're selling them, um, and then we can go through some questions. If anybody doesn't know me, my name is Ursula Brest. I've been uh, marketing in the professional hair and beauty industry for over 30 years with some of the top brands in South Africa. Right, the most valuable skills you can have as a stylist or a business owner is to be creative and flexible. And that is what, I know that we are all creative um, and just learning to adapt now and be flexible, um, incorporating that creativity is what is going to get us to to the next level. And some of it's going to be trial and error. We don't know what some of it's going to be. But do the best you can until you know better. And then when you know better, do better. And all of what we're going to try now is really trials. Um, and uh, we're going to see which is going to work best for us or for your specific clients or your specific business and see what we can take forward from there. So why selling is important. This is about having cash flowing into your business right now to keep having income coming in. That's obviously the number one um, point for every business that's closed at the moment. Secondly, getting clients to stick with you by buying from you for the future. That is the thing that comes in between and that is what we're going to be talking about a lot today. And then staying active, showing your community you're still at work and you're still relevant and you're still helping them. I do see a lot of people that I am following and that I um, have on Facebook and Instagram that are doing that. And I think it's great to keep, keep that up. Think outside of yourself and put yourself in your client's shoes. How can you help them right now? How do they want you? How do they want to help you? Because I think they do want to help you. They don't know how to um, unless you give them some offers of what um, and ideas of how they can, can help you with that. And especially if you know and understand your clients. The key to your business is actually knowing who your client is and, and how you communicate with them. Your relationship is everything. And I know that a lot of you pride yourself on that. And I commend you all on that because your relationship that you've created with your clients or are busy creating with your clients um, is what is going to get you through to the other side, I feel. That's in, in my point. So the things, the thing about your clients is they're at home and bored at the moment and they want inspiration. Some of them are sitting around literally doing nothing and... Um, I don't think there's ever been more people on social media than there is around the world right now. They want to support you and they want to think about the future. They love the idea of getting something special and something to look forward to. Everybody's feeling probably a bit drab right now, um, so far into um, lockdown. And with just the thought of getting something pampering when you come through the other side, is what people will be focusing on and that helps it gives people hope on a daily basis too they've got something to look forward to which some people might not be feeling that um, at this time so be creative what we're going to talk about now might not be exactly right for you but these will spark some ideas these are just really some ideas let your mind run free and don't be afraid to try your own ideas and promotions that is the point of this conversation or this one-sided conversation where we can have discussions in the comments afterwards it's time to try new offers, packages, promotions, to sell things in a way you haven't done before. And that is something that we know. 
we've got to just work out what that is. So in this training, we'll talk about information gathering, how to involve your clients and audience when deciding what to offer, what to sell, the three main types of products to sell right now, plus ideas for each, what to say, so how to message your offers on social media and more, and the different place to, places to promote your offers. Then some questions that you might have that have been frequently asked. Right, so in part one of information gathering, it's understanding what your clients want. Who are your clients and what do they want most right now? Now is the perfect time to involve them in your decisions. Whenever you're not sure what to do in your business yourself, ask. Your client, always when I do trainings, I say to people, you're sitting with a mountain of information if you have a database of clients. They are the people who will tell you where you, where you might be going wrong or what they like about your business or don't like about your, about your business or what they're expecting. You, those people that you communicate with all the time. So let's see some ways on how we can ask them. So getting your clients input, input by staying active on social media, showing that you care and that you want to serve them. I think that's so important right now, that you do care and that you want to serve them. And that helps you create things that people actually want to buy, the fact that you've asked them, instead of you just trying to guess what somebody would want. And their, their wants and needs might be very different now based on some of the information you have on what your business has been doing up to now. For example, uh, very big on retail or you're great with chemical services or whatever brings in your most revenue. Those kind of things might be changing now as we go forward and come out of lockdown. So asking them will help you to, helps to create things that people actually want to buy now. And then get creative ideas from clients that you hadn't thought of before. That's what will come out. What would they like most from you right now? Is it gift cards and vouchers? Is it packages um, or products? If we're able to deliver products, I don't think we are at this time, but possibly there are some ways or where products are put aside for them. Um, give some examples of what these might look like. Some examples that we will show in this training as well. So this was taken from um, Sunny Storm Marketing. She, um, who I need to actually give credit to her because I have been watching a lot of her um, trainings and she has allowed me to share her information with the South African audience. So this is just uh, some ideas for your stories. She's written a very nice little thing here. Dear clients and followers, while temporarily closed, we are still in business and your support means the world to us. I'll be offering special offers for purchase this month, which would be the most in, you would be the most interested in. And then she actually gives three options. So when you create stories, stories allows you to um, ask questions um, like that, where people, they have a choice of which to answer. Another way is to say, hey loves, I want to offer you some special packages for when this quarantine is over. I'm so excited to care for your skin again, hair again, nails again, whichever it is that you're offering. So tell me, what kind of treatments, packages or services are you dying to get as soon as I reopen? And you can add a little text box at the bottom where they can physically write it and type it in there. Um, if you don't know how to do those things in stories, I will be able to help and guide you. Um, I will also be having some links. I also created a workbook that will go with this training. And in there um, will be the, the text uh, from these posts. Um, and then in your um, Facebook feed or in your Instagram feed, how can I serve you best right now? And the best way to support my business during COVID-19. And I think by saying it that way, you are telling them that you are um, not in the best place right now. Uh, you're not going to say, like, I'm not going to be able to keep my business running. You don't want to put that desperation across. You do want them to know we're all in this together. And how can I serve you? Because that will help to serve you back. This is a, an a idea for an, an email and a survey. This survey was created in Google Docs. And that is something that I can help you with as well. So I won't go too much into what's written here, but how interested are you in receiving products delivered to your door? Yes, I would love that. Maybe. Depends. You can really just choose what questions that you'd like. If you answered yes, tell me which products you're interested in. 
another question could be I'm looking at creating packages for pre-sale right now with special pricing and bonuses they would be purchased now used later like within the next 12 months would that be something that may interest you so then give them three options of what answers that they can tick the, the difference between a survey and just an email is the survey is designed to um, send back to you the answers that they have chosen. they get got to submit. And then your third one could be gift cards. We are offering the following gift cards during April. These are uh, what the gift cards are valued at. And then ask them if they have any other suggestions, what you'd love to get or how I can serve you. Please tell me. I appreciate your support, etc., etc. This is one of the other ways. So this you would send out via email um, and create the survey in Google Docs. I will show you how to set that up. I'll even set that up for you if you need help with that. Then um, if you need ideas on what to say, uh, you can check the workbook in this training. All that wording that you just saw there um, will be in the workbook. So it's basically a copy and paste and then just adapt as you need it because I feel like we're in those kind of times now where we need to get it done as soon as possible so I want to help you guys to do that and I, I hope that there is some information here that will help you reach your clients now what to sell ideas for packages and promotions I would say this is the number one thing that everybody's asking right now so the different kinds of things you could do is possibly gift cards uh, bundled packages and then products you can still make money even when you're closed it's just time to do things differently than you've ever done before which is what we spoke about earlier so talking about gift cards and vouchers this is probably the most popular way to sell right now and have clients support you with gift cards to make them more attractive add in something special when you sell them so not just well here's please buy a 1000 rand gift card during lockdown you need to add something special onto that that will entice them to want to spend that money now to come back later so these are really random figures that I've put in here as far as rand values are concerned because everybody has their own pricing and um, these are meant to be adapted for, for your own use so an example is buy a 1000 rand gift card and get an extra 250 rand to give to someone special and what's nice about that is now they're bringing in somebody who possibly is not a regular client of yours um, later on once lockdown is over or buy a 250 rand and get a free bonus or a product sampler um, purchase a 1200 rand gift card and get an extra treatment or buy two 500 rand gift cards and get a third for free. The idea with the, the, that would be they would use a 500 rand over two different appointments and possibly give a third one to um, a friend as a birthday present or something along those lines. Then when can they use the card? What can they get extra with it? How will you send it to them or deliver it to them? Are there any terms and conditions to consider? And I think this is the most important thing that possibly people are not sure of at the moment. So, sell packages that you can pre-sell to clients. So, pre-selling means that you receive the payment now and the service is valid for the next 12 months, for example. I actually like that idea very much because I don't think it, it's you'd want to open your doors and think that everybody's going to be rushing in now it might not happen like that first and secondly you don't want to have people that have already paid in your seats only when you open because you're going to need to have income when when we come out of lockdown as well there's time to get creative and package up things you've never offered before bring a friend special package to come in with a friend bond relax and have some beauty treatments done together for a special price a client gratitude package is another idea, one of the most popular services with an upgrade or add-on and a gift basket or a gift card you can send them now. I don't think we'd be able to send gift baskets now, but a gift card that they could, and maybe in the card instead of it having a rand value, it could have a picture of the products that they would get and it's, for example, a range of a shampoo, conditioner, treatment and a beautiful hairbrush or whatever that for home use, some retail products. Um, and then adding, adding on digital bonuses 
so doing some guides so I see some people already doing this it's fantastic showing them how to do some hair braiding if you create like a hair braiding guide you can do it very quickly through video and if you're not sure how to do that I can help you um, to know how to, to get to learn how to do that it's very easy especially if you're using Instagram or Facebook um, as a way to, to create those and then free attendance to a live class create a live class as you can do on Facebook and Instagram and invite your clients on board there one of the other ideas I really like is creating a VIP clients group so groups versus Facebook pages are different from each other in that group is a place where you've gathered a certain uh, type of person in other words these would be all your clients and it's a place where they have discussions and uh, interacting with each other and they can ask questions freely and if you tell them that these are for VIP clients only and that's where they'll get special offers that are only for them that's very enticing it's a great way to communicate with people and then products okay this is something that came up in the training that I was watching and I wasn't going to include it but I thought let me put it in because you don't know when we might get to the stage as something you might want to add on later even so what kind of products are your clients looking for the most right now is it press on nails root color touch-up is something probably at the top of most people's lists at the moment I think they could get hold of some root uh, touch-ups especially some professional ones and not so much um, anything that you would get in a, a retail store which are not as easy to use and obviously not professional looking once they're done so yeah think about what sort of products they would like and then put together a package of products for a special price that you don't normally offer and maybe bundle some different things together then you need to figure out how you'll send um, and deliver and gratitude and thanks so anything extra that you can do to show your thanks when buying packages or services a video message imagine if somebody had buys online from you a package right now and you and they receive from you a video message either via whatsapp or through facebook messenger or dming on instagram uh, with you talking to them using their name and thanking them so much so showing gratitude and thanks i think that's really a special touch and a special page maybe for supporters and creating your vip group of clients which we spoke about just now and in part three now what to say so talking about your offers this is the kind of wording so every time you talk about your offers you need to touch on three things how important their support and generosity is to keep your business strong so everybody's in that headspace right now and if you are your authentic self and you come across as genuine and using your relationship you have with your clients that will come across very sincerely and beautifully then number two meeting them where they are how this will benefit them now or in the future and then add in something real something personal true to life you could say you know I've had my business for four years and I never have I before I had to experience not having my beautiful clients in front of me and I miss talking to them so much so when you do those kind of um, chats make sure that it's very uh, kind of personal about you but without sounding like you're in dire straits and keeping sort of a positive outlook from your point of view then on your Facebook and Instagram feed you can do possibly a two-pager new client gratitude package available to say thank you for being my client and to continue running my business I'm offering you something new so that would be the images that you would use in Facebook and or Instagram these were created on a platform called Canva which is canva.com it's a fantastic platform I usually tell people if they're looking where they can do artwork and it's very simple there's templates there um, but I will put a link in for this one um, it's quite easy to, uh, to make or change the colors that kind of thing I'm here to help some of the wording that we could use I love my clients so this would be the wording that you would use above your Facebook and Instagram uh, picture so it's not on the picture it's the, the comments that's your description 
I love my clients and I'm so thankful for their support while my doors have been closed temporarily. It's been so encouraging to get on the phone or exchange messages with you all and hear what's going on in your lives right now. There's a great way that you're communicating with them and um, telling them that you understand how they feel. Many people have asked me what they can do to help my business and I'm so excited to tell you that I have an exclusive offer for you during the month of April. While supporting my business, you also get a gift voucher and special thank you gift from me, uh, the Client Gratitude Package. When you purchase XYZ from my salon, you'll receive an ele electronic gift card that you can use any time in the next 12 months. We don't know our date of reopening right now, but we can't wait to take care of your post-quarantine hair and get you ready for the outside world. To say thank you for believing in me and supporting my business during this time, you'll also receive an extra XYZ uh, Rand gift card to use yourself or to share with a loved one. You'll love the idea of getting pampered after this isolation period too. They'll love to. And because I absolutely could not do this without your generosity, I have another gift for you. You'll also receive a gift pouch with some sampler products, chocolates and a handwritten thank you note from me. I can drop it off at your front door now, which I don't think we can do that. <laughs> or you can get it when you come in next time. Um, I love this community and my dear clients, and I'm so looking forward to doing your hair again soon. In the meantime, while I'm closed, your generosity and support means the world to me. To purchase the package, visit my booking site here and always put a link in there. And click the Client Gratitude Package. That link should take them to somewhere um, on your website. If you don't have a website, there are other ways of doing it and we can do it through uh, Facebook. I can help you with that. The wording in this is, I think, so crucial and so sincere and really touching between a client and a, a stylist. Then on your website, this is where you would have new client gratitude package available and where they can click to learn more. This would be something you could put in your stories. Hey love, so excited to tell you about the new package I'm offering for pre-sale right now. While my doors are closed, I continue to have business expenses. Here's what I'm doing to keep serving you and to say thank you. And then you can put a little question in there. What do you think? And people can literally answer that in a story. So there you are. Uh, you've written that, but you're also talking. They can see who you are. They recognize your face again. And they won't forget you. So in your emails as well, when you send out, we'll take some of the wording that we used from before um, and send that out in an email format. And then how often should you share this? We often get embarrassed of selling. So we only post once about our packages and offers. But people need to see a message seven times in order to have it resonate. Just make sure you switch up your messaging. So you don't always see the same photo or you don't always use the same wording. It's a little bit changed. And there's a line in my mind, I think there's a line between looking totally desperate or I'm here to help you and you are here to help me. So that can come across in the photo. It can come across if you put a lot of um, wording onto photographs. Uh, if you put too much flashing, big percentage signs, um, that kind of thing I think is off-putting to people. We are in different times and we are navigating our way uh, forward through this, so we don't have the right answers. But just in my mind, when someone tries to sell me something on, online, I just don't want to be sold to all the time. But if it's somebody I have a relationship with or I do come to your salon, I will be interested in knowing what that is. But just, I would say, just do it in a more gentle way and not very brash. Not very brash and out there. So how often to mention? Uh, possibly two e emails in one month. I, I agree with that. And then four posts on Facebook and Instagram in one month at least, which is one per week. I would do that much more often. The more you are on Facebook and Instagram, the more people are going to see you. And then two posts of stories per week. So the idea of doing stories is to always have a story, but I wouldn't back up a whole lot of stories. So if you don't know, stories last for 24 hours on, uh, on a feed, whether it's an Instagram or Facebook. If within that 
if you upload something and within that same 24 hour period you upload another three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos uh, or videos, they all back up with each other. Every time you add a new one, you want to be at the front of the queue. So I think let people first see um, what you, you've uploaded, but keep them keep them up to date there. Always make sure that you are in in the Instagram feed and in the stories. Then part four, how to sell your offers. So an online store. So a lot of people don't have this yet. It's actually been something that's been taboo over the last, um, well, in all the 30 odd years I've been in the industry, it's always been you only buy professional products from a professional who will prescribe the right products for you. So I'm a big believer in that and I've never thought um, that we would get to the stage where people would be starting to sell products um, online. Mm. But I see that people are doing that already. So, and this is a great time to do it. So either you can offer retail, which I would do that, um, and your gift cards. So with an online store, you can sell gift cards, your pre-sale packages and products. Some of the platforms you can use if you're creating from scratch is Shopify. Shopify will be a very easy one if you don't have a website at all and you just want to sell products. Shopify is easy because it comes with templates. It's not very expensive, although it is in dollars, um, and it's quite easy to set up. Relatively easy compared to other website uh, platforms. Um, it's designed specifically for shops and you can add a pay, pay fast account to that. I'll go into that a little bit more just now also. If you have a, a WordPress website at the moment, which a lot of people do, WordPress is very, very big and very popular. Another one is Wix, but WordPress, you, it comes with a plugin called WooCommerce, which you can add to your website, which allows you to do exactly the same thing. You can upload a product, you can put in the pricing, you can put in the special, um, the price special, you can put the end, beginning date, the end date, all the information on it um, so yeah that's one way of doing it and I'm here to help if anybody's got some questions on how to do that another way to do it would just be manual charges so have clients get in touch with you through email or DMs or messages which might be in, in a in a short term period like this well we're hoping it's going to be a short term period where you don't want to spend the next three four days just trying to set up something on a website Possibly, or while you're doing that, then maybe have this set up so that you, people can DM you or contact you through through emails. And then they can pay you through EFT or if they have a PayPal or PayFast account. So if you want to know a bit more about PayPal or PayFast, you can let me know. Um, I'll try and give you some more info on that. And then promote through email, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube site, it might be a good, a good idea to create one during this time. It's still the biggest platform available in the world with uh, videos. Then your website homepage, possibly think about starting a blog. And I think blogs are going to change a little bit. I think they're going to move away from just being on a website to being part of your Instagram, um, your Instagram page for sure. And if you're on TikTok, use TikTok as well. And then on the phone with clients, like it's great to call them. And then your Instagram and Facebook bio and your Facebook cover photo is also a good one where you can change up your text and your your images at the moment. So if you do that in Canva that I spoke about earlier, they have templates specifically designed for Facebook covers. So the sizing is there. They've got different templates. You can change the coloring. You can upload photos that you want to. It's it's a great way of doing it. Then questions about selling. So this is, is it legal for me to be selling right now if I'm receiving government assistance? I don't think that we are in that space in South Africa where we are getting government assistance right now. Uh, I don't know, but I do see on my one platform, I've got a Facebook group called Hairstyles South Africa, and somebody started a conversation about that, I think it was yesterday or today, and there's been people that have been answering those kind of questions. So if you join that group, you're able to ask questions there about that. Um, I'm worried about cash flow. If I'm selling packages now, I won't be making money later when I reopen. So if you're worried about a full schedule, so block off time on your books when you reopen for new appointments so that you stagger those 
the ones that have bought gift cards. Right now the issue is cash flow and being creative about having revenue come into your business. If you'd like to, I'd really appreciate you sharing any ideas or comments and ask any questions. This isn't perfect. It's not a perfect presentation. <laughs> um, I just want to help you guys where I can and give some ideas. And I think you guys are the more, more creative than anybody else and can possibly share ideas with other people too. Um, we would love that. There is some more information coming up um, how to create an online store and the workbook that goes with, with this. So stay in touch on my um, Ursula Brett Salon. Um, Salon Marketing How To's is my is the group where I do all of these. And then, so I really appreciate that you follow me. Um, there's my email address and my phone number. Should you wish to get hold of me and ask me some questions, uh, I'll see what I can do for you. And I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.